and welcome to another episode of Inside Immune Bio. Today, we're speaking with Dr. C.J. Barnum, Head of Neuroscience. Thanks for joining us, C.J. Thanks, Dan. Good to be here. This morning, we put out a press release talking about the results of additional blinded analysis of the ongoing Phase two Alzheimer's trial, in particular discussing high correlation between EMAC and CDR as seen in this analysis. Can you talk about the importance of that? Yeah, I think there are two really important things here. The first one is, as you mentioned, that the EMAC correlates with the CDR. That gives us a lot of faith that they're tracking in the same way and that the EMAC's doing what we believe it's going to do. Uh, I think that's really good um, uh, news for all of us. The second thing is, is that the EMAC itself as a standalone is performing beyond our expectations. And what I think this means is that by the time we're ready to go to the FDA, we will have checked all the boxes required for this to be an approvable endpoint. So in this sense, uh, what this really means is that we've got two things that are occurring. We've got the CDR and the EMAC that are, are, are tracking really well. We've got a test that we believe we can make a primary endpoint moving forward. Um, and this is really, really exciting. CJ, one of the biggest questions around the trial is the size of the trial and the shorter duration. Um, does looking at this data give you increased confidence in your trial design? Yeah, absolutely. In fact, this is what the this analysis was designed to do originally. It was designed to tell us whether or not we had enough patients that were treated long enough with Expro that at the end of the study, we could unequivocally answer the question, does Expro improve cognition? So that was the, the first thing that we wanted to do. The second thing we were able to do with this blinded analysis was to look at the performance of the EMAC as it relates to an endpoint that we believe can become approvable. And this is exactly what we see. So we have the utmost confidence that once this study wraps up in the next couple of weeks and we enroll that last patient, we are going to be able to test and see what we need to see as it relates to, to XPRO's ability to improve cognition. Excellent. Well, that's great news, CJ, and we look forward to having the trial wrap up soon and seeing the results uh, sometime early next year. Thanks, Dan. Good talking to you.